This is one of the evacuation shelters open in the Santa Clarita area, and it is the busiest. And as you said, people here are trying to get information. This is what they've set up here outside the uh, evacuation center. They have an area showing what's been affected by the tick fire, and all morning people have been coming up here looking at the map, trying to find their streets, trying to see if their homes are in that area, and hoping that they can maybe go back home today. Now, over here, this is the physical education building here at the College of the Canyons. This is the main area, but they're also using the cafeteria and other buildings to house the large number of people. Altogether, about 500 people spent the night here. This area has been used as an evacuation center several times before, but they say never with so many people. Now, the Red Cross was here yesterday as the first evacuees arrived, and of course, they provided food and cots and tried to make things easier for those who had to rush out of their homes. Now, many people brought their pets with them. Now, the good news is here you are allowed to bring small animals such as cats and dogs. The county has set up a special vehicle that's parked outside. It's air conditioned and people can place their pets there overnight. That certainly alleviated the stress of many who were worried where they would spend the night. And at about 830, the sheriffs came by and said that we had a mandatory evacuation. So um, we packed everything up in the cars, got the animals in the cars and left at around like 930, made our way over here. So I guess the animals were concerned, but what do you think of, of this? Oh, um, this is fantastic. It's such a great resource for us, especially for the small animals. It was just very tiring. I went to bed at 3 in the morning, woke up with my eyes bloodshot red. I'm really exhausted. Just couldn't sleep well. Do you know anything about your house? Or? I don't. I just know streets are blocked off. But I know for a fact that our house wasn't affected by the fire, which is good. It's just the air conditions that were really bad. And a new evacuation center has opened. It is at West Ranch High School, but people here are hoping that they'll be able to somehow return to their homes tonight. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.